So we're talking here today about uh, reforming the uh, Ukrainian energy sector. If you were to give advice to a European company looking at the Ukraine for business opportunities, what would it be if they are looking at the energy sector? So definitely Ukraine is a very promising country in terms of uh, uh, for investments, uh, not only in energy, energy sector, but uh, mainly in energy sector, because uh, so far uh, the majority of stakes belongs to the, to the state. However, of course, uh, uh, first of all, I would give some advice uh, to the uh, Ukrainian government because I think that the ball is on their court. Uh, the problem is uh, that uh, uh, it must uh, provide transparency to the, pro to the process, to the privatization process, to business, to business doing day-to-day -day process uh, because uh, uh, otherwise uh, uh, there are so many problems uh, there that uh, it creates some, you know, question marks uh, in that. But in general, uh, there is a future, and uh, I, much, I very much hope uh, in one important thing. Uh, uh, Ukraine decided to uh, integrate with Europe. The first step will be uh, deep and comprehensive FTA and association agreement, which uh, uh, will transfer the standards, also the standards in transparency, uh, to uh, Ukraine. Therefore, we can say that uh, who starts today is the first, uh, and uh, the conditions uh, uh, should be developed. Uh, privatization is uh, very attractive in terms of business opportunities, but you're pointing at the risks involving with uh, transparency. What concretely, what concrete steps do you think the Ukrainian government should undertake to increase transparency ahead of the privatization in the energy sector? I believe that there are two issues. First, regarding the um, the bids, so they must be transparent. There must be uh, there must be no question marks regarding the participants, the outcome. So everything should be really clear. And the second issue is just uh, uh, the fact of fight against corruption in Ukraine, uh, in political class, uh, uh, in administration. Uh, of course, I know it takes time, but it must be started today. Okay, thanks very much.